James. Hi. It's good to meet you. You're here for your hand, wrist and elbow examination, right? Mm -hmm. So that will involve me just having a look at both of your hands, wrists, forearms and elbows. And we're going to just go through the motions. I'll be asking you to perform various different tests. And I'll also be asking you when I perform these tests, if you feel any pain or discomfort. So before we begin, do you have any pain, discomfort, or any issues that you'd like to outline before we start? Mm -hmm. A little bit of pain in the wrist, mm -hmm. computer got pain. But... Right, so in this arm only, or this arm? This one. This one, okay. And this is your dominant hand? Yes, my hand. Okay, actually. that's fine. So I'll just be aware of that when I'm doing like the flexion and extension tests. Um, but if you do feel pain, please let me know and I'll just pause, okay. So I'm just going to take a little look at your arms. Here. So I'm just looking for any sort of signs of abnormality on your hand, wrist, and up to your elbow. We're not too interested in the skin here, but obviously you have like a very interesting scar here. How may I ask, did you uh, get your scar? That's the second and third degree burn here. Mm -hmm. It's from um, liquid clay. Liquid clay. Gets rather harsh. Wow, so that must have been like molten lava on your skin. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Very, very painful. And do you have any pain or discomfort in it now? No, it's not. Uh, it's just... I have barely any feeling in it, actually. Okay, that's fine. So besides that, everything else looks good. I'm just checking for signs of any uh, rheumatoid arthritis, like arthritis nodules, but everything seems to be okay. Let's check this arm here. So now I'm going to take a look at the soft tissue on your hands. So I'm going to look for any swelling on the soft tissue, which could be signs of a boutonnier deformity, where there might be flexion at the proximal interphalangeal joints, finger knuckles, hyperextension of the distal interphalangeal joints, but I don't see anything there. Is this you in your relaxed state? Mm. Okay. I'm just going to press down here. A little bit of hyperextension in the uh, proximal interphalangeal joints here. Can you place your hands flat on the table? And relax. Okay, that's good. So now I'm looking for any signs of thickening on the fascia is the layer of tissue <clears throat> underneath the skin, but feel anything, maybe a little bit here. Okay, and this arm. Okay. Alright. Now let's have a look at your sina. Here. Any wasting of that muscle here? Okay, good. So now let's have a look at the wrist. Feeling the radial styloid the wrist and the hand on the thumb side and the ulnar styloid between the wrist and the little finger and feel the joint between the both and when I do this is there any pain here? Um, maybe a mild discomfort. Discomfort on a scale of one to ten? Two. Two, okay. And the other side Any pain or discomfort here? No. Okay. Alright. 
So I'm also going to assess the first dorsal compartment, which is here, which is the site of De Quiven's tenostylitis, which is the tendon along the thumb. And this is a painful condition that affects the tendons in your wrist, and it occurs when two tendons around the base of your thumb become swollen, and the swelling causes the sheaths covering the tendons to become inflamed, and this puts pressure on nearby nerves, causing pain and numbness. But should you have tenostinovitis, pain will be elicited. So any pain or tenderness here? Mm. Okay. I'm also going to, whilst we're here, feel the mobility and the joints around the thumb. Any pain or tenderness when I do this? Okay, and on the other side. Any pain or tenderness? Okay. I'm going to look at the metacarpophalangeal joints on both of your hands. Any pain or tenderness? And the problem. Similar interphalangeal joints, the distal interphalangeal joints. Just tell me when you feel pain. And if you don't, that's fine. No pain. Okay. So I'm just going to press your hands down. Any pain when I do that? Mm -hmm. Any pain when I do that? Okay, good. So now I'm going to ask you to copy my movements. The first movement that I'd like you to do is place your hands together in a prayer position, keeping your hands flat as possible. Can you raise your arms up a little bit more? Does that hurt at all? Just bring them slightly out towards your chest, just like this, and forward. All right. Any pain in the elbows at all? Mm, no, a little bit of pain in the little finger. This one? Mm. Okay. And sort of in the hand area. And this here? Mm. Okay. And uh, relax. And the next uh, position I'd like you to do is place the back of your hands together like that. And then can you bring them out towards me? Okay, again, do you feel the pain in this bit? Okay. Um, Any pain up here? All right, and relax. And the next one, could you please have your hands outstretched like this and just keep turning them over like that. Lift your elbow just slightly off the table, just so you're supporting your weight there. Any pain or discomfort there? No, I can't really move this one past about there. I see. Okay. And is that pain or is it just mobility? I think it's mobility. Mm -hmm. And relax. Perfect. The next one I would like you to do is turn your hands out to the side and place them together just like this. Any pain or discomfort there? No, it's okay. Okay. Perfect. Now could you make a clenched fist with both hands? And spread your fingers out really wide, like with your palms facing up. Okay, and relax, that's perfect. So with your palms facing up now, Perfect. I'd like to just pinch your fingers here, and if you feel any sort of numbness, just let me know. You feel that? Yeah. Good. And here, do you feel that? Yes. Okay, that's perfect. Well done. 
So now we're going to be performing a direct compression test over the carpal tunnel here. I will be um, mindful to be very soft and gentle here because of your pain here, but if I just place a little bit of pressure here, does that hurt? What about there? A little bit on a scale of one to ten? Two. And here. What about if I do this? Or this? This? Or this? All right, now I'm going to flex your hand at the wrist, going towards your elbow. This might be a little bit uncomfortable, so please let me know. Any pain or discomfort there? Mm. What about if I hold your arm and go like this? This. Okay, perfect. And the other arm, please. Turn over. Any pain here? Here. Here. This. I'm going to flex the hand towards you. Any pain when I do this? No. This. No. Or this. No. Okay. Now with your arm still here. Any pain when I do this? No. This. No. No. This. Okay. This side. Just flexion in the wrist here. Like so. Any pain like this? No. This. No. This. All right. Relax. Perfect. So if I could get you to make an O with your thumb and forefinger and just keep going with the fingers like that. Good. And now back to the beginning. I want you to try and resist my movements by opening up your fingers. Good. That's very good. And the next fingers. Good, very good. Next, good. Very good, well done. Okay, so if you could spread your fingers really wide, we're going to do a similar test. I want you to try and resist my hands pushing your fingers in. That's good, well done. That's good, very good. And now if you could take this key from me. And could you mimic opening and closing a lock in a door? And the other hand. Perfect. Now place it on the table just about here. I want you to just pick it up how you normally would. Perfect. Put it down again. And with the other hand. That's perfect. And put it down again. Now I have a piece of paper, I'm going to place it in between my fingers and thumb and I want you to try and take it from me in a similar manner. Perfect. And the other hand. Perfect. Any pain or discomfort there? Mm. Great. Now, get this piece of paper, a pen. Please could you write one word with your dominant hand and the exact same word in your non-dominant hand. It doesn't have to be a long word, just something easy. Perfect. This might be very bad. Mm. <laughs> That's, That's very fine. difficult. It's okay, we're just looking to see the function of the fingers and the okay. wrist. Um, that's absolutely fine. Perfect. So now if I take your hand in mine, please could you squeeze my hand quite hard? Perfect. And the other hand? Perfect. Now could you make a hook with your fingers? I'm going to interlace my hand. Could you just pull back for me? Perfect. And the other hand? Perfect. Now, I'd like you to lift each of your fingers in turn, independently, and then I'll provide some resistance and we'll do the test again. So in your own time. That was mm -hmm. different. Any pain or discomfort here? No, they just tend to raise together. Sure. Any pain or discomfort here? 
So let's do that again with some resistance. Good, 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 good. Wait for me. <laughs> good. Good, well done. Well, let's turn your hands over. Now could you place each of your fingers and your thumb just trying to move independently into your centre. That's it. Good. And this hand. Good. Now I'm going to isolate these three fingers. Like that. And now try and join your fingers together. Good. 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 This arm. Good. 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 Very good. Any pain or discomfort here? No. Okay. So now I'm going to be performing a Finkelstein's test and for that I'm going to place your thumb into your wrist and I'm going to bend your wrist in like that. Any pain or discomfort there? Okay. And here. Bend that in. And any pain or discomfort there? So now I'm going to be performing a grind test, just for che checking to see signs of any osteoarthritis. Uh, you're very young, um, so I wouldn't feel like I need to see anything there, so nothing grinding there. Okay, good. Brilliant. Perfect. All right. So that brings us to the end of the examination. Besides the um, issues that we spoke about at the beginning, I don't see anything that's a cause for concern. So I'm happy for you to go home today and we'll send you up a follow-up visit in about six months' time. Thank you very much and I'll see you soon. Thanks.